so much for joining us at 10 o'clock as some Tennessee education advocacy groups worry lawmakers will reject billions in federal education money. For the last two weeks, lawmakers have held meetings looking at rejecting these funds, but some of these groups say their voices weren't heard. Our Danielle Jackson joins us now. And Danielle, you spoke with two of these groups. How would this impact them? Well, Tracy and Maurice, without federal education funding, these groups say it, would, it could fundamentally change education for Tennessee students, especially kids with disabilities and those who are economically challenged. To do away with those funds is to do away with those rights, those protections, and it really just throws the education of kids with disabilities into jeopardy. Growing concern over the possibility of state leaders rejecting billions of federal dollars for education. We hear daily from probably to this point, hundreds of parents who are concerned about this. Jeff Strand with the Tennessee Disability Coalition says a big chunk of the funding goes to services in the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, which is the structure of special education. It's all the civil rights that come along with being a student with a disability and to forego those funds would mean that you are free of those regulations, which are really just, those are protections for kids with disabilities. And without those protections, Education is fundamentally different. Strand says without those federal dollars, there's a lot at stake for 125,000 students with disabilities in the state. One, you might not be meaningfully involved in uh, setting aside resources for your child. And two, you would lose avenues for redress. So if the school's not living up to their promises, if they uh, wrote you a poor IEP, now you've run out of options for holding them accountable. It's not just students with disabilities who would be impacted. Nashville Propel helps parents in struggling communities and underperforming schools in Davidson County. Executive Director Sonia Thomas believes going without these funds would also affect minority groups. I'm very puzzled about rejecting monies when the thing that parents hear all the time is that we don't have enough funding. Um, and there's so much work that needs to be done for black children and for children with disabilities to move the needle for them. She says prioritizing funds to go towards kids who need it the most is what lawmakers should ultimately focus on. Our organization was not invited to the table. And, you know, this is a conversation in which all parents should be involved in. There are long-term implications if federal dollars were rejected that Strand says could put students in jeopardy permanently. One of the long-term issues we're concerned about is IDEA comes with a federal rule called uh, supplement, not supplant, which means that a uh, uh, state can't take these funds and replace funds that they're using. They have to add it on top. The Tennessee Disability Coalition is urging parents who are concerned to reach out to state lawmakers to make sure their voices are heard. I'm Danielle Jackson for WSMV4. The idea to reject these funds comes from House Speaker Cameron Sexton. He says federal money comes with strings attached, but Democrats have some criticism. They say Sexton hasn't been clear about what those strings are. Federal strings may make a great sound bite, um, but if you don't have any real substance behind what you're what you're throwing out into the wind, then you should probably just back off. Now, if lawmakers do turn down the funds, Tennessee would pay for that two billion dollars itself. Here is a statement from one member of the panel, quote, if we can provide better public education services for every child using state dollars, that is a topic worthy of further study and understanding, end quote. The panel is likely to meet again after Thanksgiving and by January, they need to have an answer for lawmakers. Either keep the funds or don't.